Brand new World Tag Champions. World Tag Team Champions, Marty Gennetti and Shawn Michaels, the Midnight Rockers. And we're going to prove to everybody why we are number one. And we've already proved it. Everything we say, we do. So against the duo of Booker and Kidman with Glory. They are together as a team. They have gelled. They proved it last night and tonight. It is always more suitable for a tag team to get along if they want to move up in the pecking order. Quite a few tag teams in history, however, featured two wrestlers that did not like their partner. They somehow found a way to be a tag team in the short or long term before falling apart. Today we take a look at some of the memorable teams that featured two partners that butted heads. Let's begin. Number 8. The Rockers The Rockers influenced a future generation of tag teams that would change the business. It all started with the amazing work of Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty as a tag team. Both men were athletic performers doing moves their peers couldn't even process. Fans fell in love with the Rockers, but Michaels and Jannetty held very little love for the other. The moment of Michaels throwing Jannetty through a glass window is remembered for both careers going in drastic directions. Michaels went on to become the biggest star in WWE. Jannetty failed and had a train wreck of a career following the split. Both men, however, reportedly wanted the split for years. Various wrestlers to work with them before they even signed with WWE claimed there was huge jealousy between the Rockers. Jannetty and Michaels each tried to get more fame than the other, leading to them butting heads. Their personal demons added to the situation as well. The Rockers ended up making peace in their later years, but they are clearly not friends. Number 7. Billy Kidman and Paul London WWE experimented with an interesting tag team combination of Paul London and Billy Kidman. At this time, London was a new star joining the company with a world of potential and Kidman was a veteran struggling to find a spot on WWE television after struggling to adapt to life after WCW. The different places in their career led to the two talented wrestlers failing to develop a positive relationship. London claimed that Kidman didn't treat him with respect and was a complete jerk to work with. WWE paired them together because they had the same finisher. Another claim from London was that Kidman seemed jealous that the younger star was pulling off a more athletic version of his finisher. Despite winning the WWE Tag Team Championship, Kidman and London ended abruptly. If they got along, both of their careers in WWE may have been better off for it. Number 6. Animal and Heidenreich One of the dumbest ideas WWE ever had was trying to reform the legendary Legion of Doom tag team a few years after Hawk passed away. Johnny Ace wanted to hire his brother Animal back into WWE, and this was his best bet. WWE signed Animal and paired him with struggling wrestler Heidenreich. This wouldn't have been so bad if they didn't literally rip off all the old LOD things such as the gear, music, and name. Fans didn't view Heidenreich as a credible replacement to Hawk. Animal didn't like Heidenreich either, viewing the younger wrestler as disrespectful. Instead of using the opportunity to become a star, Heidenreich allegedly showed up to shows late and didn't view Animal as someone to learn from. The two reportedly came close to fighting at one point backstage. WWE eventually quit on the angle and both careers ended shortly after. Never try to replace a legendary tag team with new members. Number 5. The Dicks The Dicks are remembered in the worst possible way as one of the all-time worst gimmicks in WWE history. Chad Wicks and Tank Toland were hired to play the tag team of the Chippendales dancers. The Dicks essentially were meant to be jokes that fans mocked and it never went anywhere. One thing that very much worked against them was the locker room viewing them as not showing proper respect as new young wrestlers joining the team. Wicks complained to WWE management about various wrestlers harassing them. Unfortunately for him, the wrestlers in question were bigger names. WWE ended up phasing the Dicks out before releasing them. Wicks and Tolan started to turn on each other as Tolan didn't want his partner complaining to management. They turned into enemies during the final couple of months in WWE. Toland appeared to be in the right considering their careers ended in WWE due to Wicks' decision. Number 4. The Gangstas ECW's popular tag team The Gangstas always got the fans excited with their hardcore brawls. New Jack was the breakout star of the group and Mustafa was a very intimidating tag partner. Fans loved the unpredictability of New Jack doing the most insane moves and his brash personality. Mustafa didn't have nearly the same level of popularity, but fit the bill as a big man that could get into the scraps. Paul Heyman appreciated New Jack's work more and tried to phase out Mustafa. New Jack always viewed Mustafa as being less committed to the wrestling business. Various things like refusing to move to Philadelphia and not wanting to do similar stunts to New Jack made him the outsider. 
Their relationship soured as Heyman pushed New Jack as a single star and Mustafa left the company to do minimal work in wrestling afterwards. The gangsters ended up making peace after ECW folded due to wanting to make money together on the independent circuit. Number 3. Crash and Hardcore Holly The Holly Family Act was an underrated mid-card gimmick during the Attitude Era. WWE placed the trio of Hardcore Holly, Crash Holly, and Molly Holly together as cousins that couldn't get along but worked together as family. Crash played the undersized underdog that fans could get behind. Hardcore was the no-nonsense tough guy known as the veteran for his many years in WWE. And I went and got me another super heavyweight. Oh boy. My cousin, Crash Holly. Crash got something to say, I guess. You thought you had problems with my cousin here. Hardcore. No offense, huh, kid? They worked well together as polar opposites on screen to entertain the audience. However, Hardcore and Crash did not enjoy each other as much backstage. Crash was a big partier and Hardcore liked to keep to himself. The fact that his partner was a risk could have led to him being taken off television at any time. This was the reason Hardcore didn't care for Crash and the two often butted heads. Hardcore did still feel bonded to Crash as he was saddened after Crash passed away at a young age after leaving WWE. Number 2. Rocky Johnson and Tony Atlas Rocky Johnson and Tony Atlas made history as the first pair of black wrestlers to win the WWE Tag Team Championship back in the 80s. Fans viewed them as a unit that worked well together. WWE even tried to use them in storylines when The Rock debuted. Johnson is obviously Rock's dad, and Atlas was portrayed as a close friend of the family since the tag team was so successful and made history together. Atlas and Johnson, however, could not stand each other and constantly got into arguments. There have been stories of the two throwing fists in the locker room with the outspoken Atlas never putting up with Johnson's unhappiness. Johnson often complained about Atlas being late and hurting his future. You just know Johnson is more content with being known as The Rock's dad today rather than having to hear about the tag team with a partner that he despised. Number 1. Bam Bam Bigelow and Vader Most would have assumed a tag team between Vader and Bam Bam Bigelow would have been perfect. Both men were world travelers known for their unique skill sets. Despite being big men, Vader and Bigelow each could execute impressive moves off the top rope and keep up with faster opponents. The duo worked together in Japan and fans reacted well to the two large Americans dazzling them. Vader and Bigelow, however, didn't like each other one bit. Their personalities clashed and caused them to have a competitive nature to their matches. Bam Bam stated in interviews before passing that he and Vader worked well together at the end of the day due to trying to outdo each other. Vader has revealed he didn't enjoy working in the tag team and Bigelow revealed that Vader was a bully. We can only imagine how much more success they could have accomplished if they were on the same page. That's all for this video, folks. We'll see you another time.